what is 0 to the power of 0? Hi everyone, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell for updates. When we say a to the power of m, we are to multiply a to another a to another a to another a until we reach the number m. So for example, the number m refers to 100. That means a is to be multiplied 100 times to itself. We have another property. a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, if we have the same base, so here our base is a and they have different exponents m and n you are just going to add the exponents so the result is m plus n now if we are going to multiply these two we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n you are just going to subtract the exponent of the numerator from the exponent of the denominator. Now we have also a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. That means for most of the numbers, if you are going to raise it to 0, the answer is equal to 1. But 0 to the power of m is equal to 0. So, which among these two is the answer? Is it 1 or 0? So, let's find out. Let's try some values using a calculator. We have x to the power of x in the first column and in the second column we have the value of x to the power of x. 1 to the power of 1, so we have our x here as 1, 1 to the power of 1, that is equal to 1. Now if we have 0 0.9 to the power of 0 0.9, and we get 0 0.90953. If we have 0 0.8 to the power of 0 0.8, we will get 0 0.83651. We will continue this 0 0.7 to the power of 0 0.7 until we reach 0 0.4 to the power of 0 0.4. Now, now the values are listed. Now as you notice, the values have a trend. It is... So the values are decreasing. So let's continue finding the values of x to the power of x. Now we stop at 0 0.4 to the power of 0 0.4. Let's continue it with 0 0.3 to the power of 0 0.3. Now the answer for this one is 0 0.69685. For 0 0.2 to the power of 0 0.2, the answer is 0 0.72478. Now for 0 0.1 to the power of 0 0.1, the answer is 0 0.79433. Now, notice a significant change in the behavior of the value. It is now increasing from 0 0.69 until it becomes 0 0.79. Now what is the point of doing this? Now let's get smaller and smaller. If we continue, okay, say smaller values than 0 0.1. So we'll start with 0 0.05. 
to the power of 0.05. So we get 0 0.8609. 0 0.02 to the power of 0 0.02 is equal to 0 0.9247. So still increasing. 0 0.01 to the power of 0 0.01 it's 0 0.9550 so the obvious trend now that is happening is it is still increasing now how about we get smaller and smaller and smaller so we will find out the most probable answer for our question what is the answer for 0 to the power of 0 okay Let's start with 0 0.001 to the power of 0 0.001. The answer for this is 0 0.99312. Now, if we continue, add another 0 to the 1 to the first number, we get 0 0.9908. And if we add another 0 to the previous number, we get 0 0.99988. Now, if we continue adding another 0, we will get 0 0.9999. So that means if we are going to continue this, smaller and smaller values, the answer will be 0 0.9999 or, or approximately equal to 1. So as x in the expression x to the power of x approaches to the value of 0, the value became closer and closer to 1. So the answer is 0 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. That's it guys. So if you like what you just learned, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for updates. Thank you.